Hello boys and girls of grade 6, I am teacher Melinda and today for vocabulary we will look at the topic idioms. What are idioms? Idioms are expressions used figuratively but express a definite meaning. Idioms can be used in language orally and written. So let's take a look at some idioms a pocket Hercules. Of course, I will take you back to what is the meaning of an idiom. An idiom is an expression used figuratively but express a definite meaning. So looking at the example, a pocket Hercules, it doesn't mean that there is a Hercules in someone's pocket. Oh no, that's because an idiom is an expression that is used figuratively. Of course, figuratively mean that it gives an idea about something that really does not exist. However, the idea has a definite meaning. So what does pocket Hercules mean? It means small but strong. A person in age that is very strong or muscular However, the person may have a small stature. So for example, we can use a pocket Hercules in a sentence. Sam in our class is a pocket Hercules. That sounds really funny. Can Sam fit in someone's pocket or oh, no? It just simply means that Sam is small, but he is strong very strong, strong physically, strong mentally, strong emotionally. So that Sam is that boy in the class who everyone looks up to. So if there is someone who needs someone to defend them, they go looking for Sam because Sam is just a pocket Hercules. I like that one. Then we have another example, heavy-eyed. Heavy-eyed. What does that mean? Heavy-eyed simply means sleepy. Sometimes in our family, we have someone who may have an experience of a heavy eye. And if I dare say, maybe there's a grandma or a grandpa who sits in a rocking chair and sometimes sitting by that window just looking through and enjoying the cool wind of the day, next thing you know, that person is nodding. And so we would sometimes move around and we would laugh and tease and say, Grandma is sleeping or Grandpa is sleeping. So that kind of situation we can liken to having a heavy eye heavy-eyed individual. It means sleepy when your body cannot use any more energy and your eyes are being forced to close. So we can use heavy-eyed as an idiom in a sentence. Jake is always heavy-eyed on school tours. So Jake is that child in the class when the bus is going bumpy bumpy as we do sometimes on tours. He is heavy-eyed, his head is nodding, and the eyes are all closing down there. Then there's another idiom, a queer fish. This simply means an odd or a strange person, someone that you are not familiar with. Queer fish, what a thing. Someone who is odd or someone who is strange. So maybe in your street, or in your village, or in your community, there is someone there who just behaves queer. Queer fish, the person is 
odd. The person behaves strangely. So you can say in a sentence, you looked like a queer fish when we first reunited. So you did not recognize that person. The person appeared very strange, very odd at the beginning. A queer fish. So let's say when you're writing a paragraph or you are writing your story, a composition, you can use the idiom a queer fish if, when it is most appropriate. The next idiom we will look at is on the level. On the level. This one is quite popular amongst Guyanese. And sometimes we hear young men and even young ladies in the street, sometimes by the marketplace, telling each other, dep on your level. Banners dep on your level. What does on the level mean? It simply means to be honest. So on the level means be honest, be loyal, tell the truth, do not be false. So dep on your level, on the level simply means that you are asking someone or you are reassuring someone that honesty is the best policy. So for example, we can use on the level in a sentence that says, please be on the level with me. Or the judge said he won on the level, meaning that honesty is what made the difference. The man in the street, the man in the street is another idiom. What does this mean? It's an ordinary man. So we might hear this one too, or we may have heard this one before. Everybody knows the man in the street or not that they know the man in the street, but they come and say, the man in the street said so, or we got that bit of information from the man in the street. What does that mean? It simply means that someone is the same as another person, but that person is ordinary. The man in the street is looked at as that individual who is just ordinary and simple or that individual who goes around and gets information or gets things done in an efficient or very quick way. And so we can say he's often the man in the street. So we hear man in the street. The man in the street simply means an ordinary person, but it also indicates someone who knows information or can get information and bring it to others, but that person is simply ordinary. So the next idiom we will look at is beat around the bush. Now this is a common idiom that is used in Guyanese dialect. We hear it so many times. Boy, stop beating around the bush. Or we might hear a friend telling another, why are you beating around the bush? But of course, the idiom is beat around the bush. It simply means lying about something, being dishonest. All right? So we have beat around the bush. And it means stop beating around the bush and tell me the truth. That's an example that we can use if we want to use this idiom when writing a sentence or a story and we want to include this idiom, beat around the bush. All right, so the next analogy, the next example we will look at is miss the boat. Of course, this one can be used in our dialect or across the country since Guyana has several waterways and persons or individuals usually use the waterways to transport or to travel. So sometimes we can say you miss the boat, literally meaning you would have missed an opportunity to catch the boat to head across the Demerara River or to ply up the mighty Essequibo. However, Miss the boat means when you had the perfect opportunity to do something, but you failed or missed it. So you miss the boat. It's an idiom that can be used to indicate that an opportunity has been lost. So how do we use that in a sentence? Janet missed the boat on getting free marks for the quiz. How did that happen? Janet just did not take the perfect opportunity that passed by her to score highly or to gain free marks on the quiz. And so finally, finally, 
we look at the one that says under the weather under the weather in guyana of course we experience four types of weather but this doesn't mean that i am sitting under the sunny weather or under the rainy weather under the weather simply means that someone is feeling weak or sick so for example in a sentence with the idiom under the weather we can say matt is feeling under the weather today so he will not be at school this is a sentence that has the idiom under the weather. So boys and girls, idioms really help us to have an enriched vocabulary and also expression. We can use idioms orally or written so that it enhances what we do or what you do as you prepare for your national exam and also head into another grade so i have some for you to do to have fun on your own and so for those of you who are quick at writing you can copy or you can go through these and in your spare time you have fun so what do i want you to do on your own boys and girls i want you to find the meanings of these idioms and use them in sentences what are they number one horse play horse play so you write that in your book or in your activity sheet horse play number two for a lark for a lark number three a fine kettle of fish a fine kettle of fish Number four, as the crow flies, as the crow flies. Number five, a stiff upper lip, a stiff upper lip. Number six, a blind alley, spelt a l l e y a blind alley number seven a hen on hot girdle a hen on hot girdle number eight a cat on hot bricks a cat on hot bricks Number nine, a far cry, a far cry. And number 10, on the nail, on the nail. So on your own again, boys and girls, you will find the meaning of these idioms and use them in sentences as you practice to make perfect. Thank you, boys and girls. I'll see you again next time.